Hi, this is LT Survival. As promised, I have another Kersha. And this one is oh so sweet. Yes, it's his name. Oh so sweet. Stay, stay tuned, we'll be right back. Well, in Kershaw, you had the uh, the Chinese line from Kershaw is really an economical um, an economical line. So they offer many many uh, type of knife. Uh, I chose the semi-automatic uh, line to trial. I'm not sure. I haven't explored Kershaw's line very much, but. Uh, this one is oh so sweet. Uh, yeah, its name is oh so sweet. It's the model 1830, and it was another recommendation from. Uh, well, I picked up the uh, review from Birchard Four, which said it was in. Uh, it was retailing uh, on sale for twenty dollar USD. This one is really sweet. It sounds great. It has a nice nice shape. It is small. And it cost in Canada $26. Yes, you're right. That's not much more than the $20 in the US. So, geez, couldn't resist. So I went and got this one. A great little knife. I like the sweep of the blade. I mean, like almost like a leaf. High saber grind. Uh, it might be even hollow, hollow grind, with uh, a nice, a nice bevel, secondary bevel on it. Sharp. A little more centered, I would say, than. Uh, the uh, entropy I showed you before. I'm going to re-show you the entropy as a size comparison for the two knives. As you can see, the shape of the handle makes it for a smaller uh, blade, smaller handle. I'm just going to put it in front, so flipper to flipper. You know, see there's like a quarter inch here missing. And since it's a round handle, for my large hand, it feels like my hand is pretty empty. But the grip is secure. Let me close up. Oh, just before, I'm going to show you size comparison with the Sanran Mu 7010, which most people know. It's almost a classic for all collectors. It's a little smaller than this one, but in, uh, in width, it is kind of... Uh, kind of uh, comfortable to use. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. The Oh So Sweet is a very rounded handle with an insert here. I'm not sure if it's, it's probably FRN like uh, these one. The uh, FRN is le less sleek than uh, the one on the Entropy, but it is still the uh, same type of FRN. You have a pocket clip very stylish pocket clip that you can reverse from right, sa uh, right side tip up or tip down and you have no way of doing it on the other side which they could probably if they wanted to but they decide not to go there's a lanyard roll again and again because it's a liner lock this one is not adjustable. I couldn't adjust it because this is not a pivot screw. It's a uh, it's a bolt in which the pivot screw comes to attach. I've tried to uh, tighten it and to move it, but no way. So, but doesn't affect the knife. It functions very well. And this one is really powerful as the detent. The other one is a little softer. They call it the speed safe. But this one clank like a big knife. Listen to it. So very nice, very powerful clank. 
and we can really feel the deployment. Let's see the blade. That blade is satin finish. Like I said, eye saber grind. Another uh, same uh, company, Kai, is the one that makes those kersha. As you see, it's a China made. There's no indication on the uh, steel, but I think it's the same uh, 8CR13. There is some um, some texturing, scale texturing, and the uh, pocket clip, which is satin also. So a really sweet knife. It locks well. Within fifth, this one is a little past fifty percent, unfortunately. I'm not sure. Well, come back. See that? It's straight into the fifty percent plus. So. I'm not sure if it's going to last as long as I wish, but uh, it is a little far as for uh, lock-up. But it locks well. It's a sharp knife. Hmm, I haven't done a paper cut on these knife. Jeez. So it's a, we'll go back to the tabletop and we'll, uh, we'll final, finalize. Got myself some old printer paper. Not much I have um, available right now here. So, to show you, I'm trying to do push cuts like, as much as I can. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good cut. It bites and it goes through. So, not a bad. Um, sharpening i really like this knife it's going to become one of my edcs for work so i'm going to be able to switch from knife to knife to knife depending on how i feel what i want to wear in my pockets large or small so depending on where i go also uh, that's the good thing so i can adapt the knife according to where i am so well if you like this review please give it the thumbs up Share and subscribe and we'll see you back in the next video.